everybody and welcome back to the Irish Inventor. Um, this episode is all about um, lawyers creating TV shows, believe it or not. And uh, I'm going to run, run through, uh, if you had an idea for a TV show, you know, what happens and, you know, who do you go and see and what happens afterwards. So I'll run you through a scenario, you know, I've been through it a few times myself, so, you know, you come up with a good TV show idea, you know, you get it down on paper and you can, you can actually file it with the US Copyright Office. Go on to uh, Google and find out how you format a TV show. It's not that complicated. You get templates there for that. And then after you do that, you, you know, you file it with the US Copyright on, Office online, which costs about $20. But the reason, you know, the reason for this episode is, is what happens next, and believe me, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. It's, it's unbelievable. Um, so you have your TV show idea written out, you have it copyrighted, thinking that you're protected. Uh, all copyright does is when you file that in the copyright office, it proves the date you created and what you created. of pages written of what you created. So you then contact a production company and believe me 95% of production companies operate like that. Uh, very few uh, you know work ethically and uh, so you walk into a production company uh, you sit and meet the producers and show you the idea and you know nine times out of ten they say yeah it's okay but it's not for us and then you're sitting at home and a year later you see this TV show on the TV and you look at it and you go that's my TV show that's produced by the same guy that I pitched it so uh, then you look at what you're going to do next what are you going to do about it um, and this is where the law forbids you to do anything about it because all you have is a copyright and as a copyright do, does not protect you. You think it does, it doesn't. What they do is that production company then sits down with a lawyer, puts your copyright on the table, they say to that lawyer, what do I have to change to get around the copyright? Because in copyright, very few have won you know, lawsuits in copyright because it just doesn't stand up because you have to have 14 similarities within the copyright to prove that they've infringed on your copyright. And as I said, sit down with a lawyer, how many things do I have to change here? You go to court, you're not gonna win. And uh, that's the reason, you know, never, never bring your idea to a production company or, or even a broadcaster, unless they'll sign a contract you know, which is called an NDA, a non-disclosure agreement, a confidentiality agreement, basically, uh, that states that you're showing them the idea, so they're bound to keep that confidential and not do anything with it. I have a case going on in America, uh, I filed copyright for the show, but also there's a non-disclosure agreement. And the lawyers have said to me, we're not going to take a copyright claim, we're going to take a breach of contract claim. So I have a breach of contract claim going on in America con concerning the Voice TV show. Google that. And uh, I'm going to put a, a link here also. The same guy that took the Voice from me has taken another one from a guy in Holland. So I'm going to put his name here. You can Google his name and he's got a brilliant video up stating exactly, you know, it's kind of like a cartoon and he's showing when he walked into the room what happened, he's been dealing with it for four years, so please have a look at this, it's, it's mind blowing stuff. And, uh, but there is one or two production companies that, that are fairly good, I'm working with one in the UK at the moment, um, 
who's a uh, you know they're fairly big, but they're genuine guys. Uh, we have I have my second show in development with them. Uh, so like, does it? It's killing the industry because basically you're developing a brilliant idea, and then a lawyer is going to go on and redevelop it. You know, it, it it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense why the production companies do this, and. Um, why don't they just think, they, see, they, they, they don't value creativity. So like they look at you and they go, right, he hasn't got it protected properly, he hasn't done everything properly, it's just Robert. And if he comes after us, you know, he hasn't got a leg to stand on. And even if you have a non-disclosure agreement saying like I have, and they, they, you know, they look at you and they go, well, I'm a billionaire, I can, I can take him to court, is he going to be able to fight me? And that's, that's the way they look at things. So don't ever walk into a TV company and with the you know pretense that you're going to sell the show and make millions because they'll never ever ever pay you. Believe me, unless you get that NDA sign and uh, you're working with a proper guy. You know you, you've got to check your pockets when you leave the, the room with these guys. Believe me, believe me. And uh, but like I have a case because of that NDA and you know it, it's. It doesn't, it, it's, you know, at the start it felt a bit peed off, but in fairness, it probably was the best thing that ever happened to me because of all the press I got. And uh, now I can start developing my other shows. And, but peop, like, people know I came up with the voice. The, because I filed copyright, that's not in dispute. I was the first one to sign, you know, to file copyright for a blind audition TV show titled The Voice. So, you know, that's got me out there. So now I'm talking to other broadcasters, but you know, they're a bit wary of me because I know that they can't put the bull over my eyes. So if you have a very, very good TV idea and you want to do something about it, come to me. I don't want to know your idea. I don't really don't want to know your idea, but I'll help you protect it and I'll guide you in the, in, in, in the right direction. And uh, if you keep tuning into my show, please subscribe. If you subscribe to my channel, I will reply to you. So, if you have that good idea and you think, right, I'm going to go and do something about it, wait, contact me, I'll tell you exactly the steps to take. Uh, I can give you a few contacts of a few decent guys within the industry. And, uh, I, as I said, I don't want to know your idea, so you, you can go off yourself, you know, I, I, I'll help you. Because I, I just don't want people to, you know, to, be, to, do, to make the same mistakes I've made. Because... You know, they're just ripping people off left, right and centre. You know, I went to the state broadcaster with the device in 2008. RTE. And they said, no, I don't think it worked. That's fair enough, that's fine. That's, that's grand. But the guy I have in court in Holland, after we launched it, he sold it in America. It's in 180 countries now. But we, we found out that he was pitching it to RTE and RTE. So my lawyer has gone on to RTE and showed them all the evidence, showed them all the documentation and uh, put them on legal notice. This is a state-owned company. So um, what did the state-owned broadcaster do? They went ahead and bought it. And I got a snotty letter from uh, an RTE lawyer stating that you don't have a case. But how do they know whether I have a case or not? And a couple of months later, <coughs> the judge in America, the, the Dutch guy filed a motion to dismiss. The judge turned around in the court and he said, you know, the evidence here is compelling. I'm sending this forward for trial. And after that, a lot of them were cleared out in RTE. But, you know, they're, they're still the same out there. They're still the same out there. And, uh, you know, you just got to be wary. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm creating this channel to make people aware of all these guys and I'm going to keep making them aware I'm going to, I'm going to doorstep a lot of these guys uh, with cameras because they're getting away with it for far too long the television industry it's, it's standard practice in the television industry to take from creators have a look, you can, you can google google stealing TV shows and you'll just see it rife and uh, 
They just don't value creativity. And that's why the, the, the industry has been starved of brilliant shows. Because lawyers are bloody developing sh these shows. So, you know, something needs to be done about it. And uh, if you could please subscribe to this channel, get it out there. Because I'm going to keep going on about this. Not this, you know, but in general. Um, you have another idea, you walk into an, a, another company. It doesn't have to be a TV idea, but it's the same thing. The, the, the corporate world do not, you know, value creativity. So, we need to change that and we need to protect ourselves and we need, you know, to uh, fight these guys because we're not, we're not stupid, they think we're stupid. So um, let's get on a bit of a journey together, join me and if you've had your idea stolen, come to me and we will go out and tackle these people on camera. I will bring you the guy that has, has had his idea stolen with me and we'll approach that guy that stole your idea. So um, tune in every Sunday night, seven o'clock. Please tell your friends because I need to get this out there. It's, um, it's 20 to 8 in the morning on Saturday morning you know, and I'm filming so I'm going to be filming for the day. I'm going to be editing all day tomorrow so there's a lot of time goes into this so I, 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 you know, I beg you to subscribe to the channel. Get the channel going, share it with your friends, comment, and uh, protect ourselves. Because I know everybody out there has a great idea. Everybody out there has a great idea. But nobody, you know, a lot of people come up to me and say, oh, I have this great idea, what do I do next? And that's what my channel is all about, teaching you what to do next. You know, and I've had a lot of people approach me, uh, a couple about their ideas been stolen, and. You know, I'm, I'm helping them through it because it, it grates me at the start. It does really great. And when you, when you see you've created this 